creates a tremendous distance between cognition and the objects of linguistic intentionality. And this gives permission then for all kinds of forms of brutalization. It actually gives permission for ideology. Ideology, to my mind, is the denial of the obvious and the substitution for something else where you say, you know, no, that's not how people are. We have a Marxist model, or we have a Freudian model, or we have, you know, John Stuart Mill's model. Who knows? But somebody's model. Uh, so ideology, someone said language was uh, invented in order that people could lie. And in large measure, this is true, that we proceed by deception. I'll defend this at some point in this weekend because another word for it is modeling. You know, we model, but we also fall in love with these models. And uh, it's the falling in love with the model that then turns it into an agenda where it was, it was not a free-form projection of a flow of facts toward the conclusion, but then it becomes instead an agenda a synthetic creode, high walls down which you expect to see a process poured and confined. 